At the top, two meat siphons in swish water tones on the massive gills. At the bottom, a viscous, eyeless head resembles a mixture of moist lips and diseased tonsils. In the middle, a bright blue gunpowder body extends up to four feet long. Instead of eating, the bacteria on the gills of the creature helps to suck the sulfur energy. All this is clad in a tusk-like tube created from its calcium carbonate secretions. In a study published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Daniel Distel, a microbiologist at Northeastern University, and his colleagues describe a living being for the first time. Its symbiotic relationship with bacteria provides clues as to how the giant shipworm evolved its strange way of eating, and can enrich our understanding of infection in humans. We were accustomed to shipworms, which are very delicate creatures and much smaller. Dr. Distel spent two decades in search of a living specimen of this elongated clam. This thing is a very fleshy animal. Examining the shipworms was not easy. Dr. Distel carefully cracked open his shell like an egg passed by water, then slid the woodworm and improvised a dissection. Small system and digestive gills of the shipworm stained with yellow, presumably from sulfur, suggesting that hydrogen sulfide, a toxic chemical, rather than the diet of wood pulp from other shipworms. By analyzing the genomes of woodworm, along with its bacteria, as well as the enzymes it contained, Dr. Distel concluded that shipworms first ate the wood but acquired bacteria over millions of years of evolution that allowed him to mix a cocktail of energy from chemical substances in the seawater, mainly hydrogen sulfide of decomposing wood, instead of eating the wood directly. There is a similar symbiotic relationship in a giant deep-sea mussel that is believed to have grown both out of energy from chemicals rather than organic matter. This is how plants use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide in photosynthesis. 